welcome to our third day of Staycation Bible School with First Presbyterian Church Ocala. This week, our journey began by traveling to a lake. Then, Jesus got on a boat. Today, we are going to rest. So let's start by taking a deep breath. Count in and breathe for five seconds, and then let the breath out slowly. Bow your head, let's open with prayer. Dear God of rest, thank you for giving us time to rest. We know it is important as you rested on the seventh day and you made sure Jesus had time to rest from his travels and teaching. Please be with us today as we learn to rest. In your name we pray, amen. Today's Bible story is a little different. It isn't really a story. It's more of a picture of how Jesus spent his time. In the Bible, there are moments when we read about Jesus and his disciples getting away from the crowds. Often, it was just a few short verses, so brief you would almost miss them. We read that he spent time praying and resting. It didn't last for long, and soon Jesus and the disciples would return to the crowds, or the crowds would find him again. Jesus never seemed to get enough time to rest, but he always made sure to take time to rest and pray. This is the emphasis for today, that even when it was busy or people seemed to need Jesus, he found time to rest. And while he rested, he prayed. This is one of our goals for today. We're going to learn that Jesus made sure he kept his connection with his Father God through prayer. Find your Bible verse coloring sheet that we added to the last two days. Let's read the scripture verse together. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of the messenger bringing good news, breaking the news that all's well, proclaiming good times, announcing salvation, and telling Zion, your God reigns. Today we're focusing on breaking the news that all's well, proclaiming good times, and announcing salvation. Today we're learning about how we can pray with our feet. Normally when we think of praying, we think of folding and bowing our heads and folding our hands. What do you think it means to pray like Jesus? What good news do you think we want to share? On our first day together, we discovered who the messenger was. Us, a prophet, or Jesus? And yesterday, we learned all the places we could deliver the message, like the mountains, the beach, lakes. I even drew a flag here for America. Today, let's share with one another just what is this good news. That's right. The message we are sharing is the good news of Jesus Christ, and Jesus loves us. Write down the good news you want to share. Find a spot on your Bible verse coloring page and write down the good news that you want to share. Now, find today's theme phrase coloring sheet. Let's say our theme phrase together. I'm sure by now you know what to do. Awesome are your feet. They pray with Jesus. Let's do that one more time. Awesome are your feet. They pray with Jesus. Our theme today is all about getting away, resting, and making time for prayer. Does your family have a favorite prayer? 
Maybe you have a special mealtime prayer or a special nighttime prayer. Write the words to your favorite prayer in the feet on today's theme phrase coloring page. Hang your picture in your space. Go ahead and pause today's video to finish today's coloring sheet. When you're ready, click play and get ready to follow along to the words on the screen and sing with Leslie. darkness my god that is who you are you are here touching every heart i worship you i worship you you are here Welcome to Staycation Bible School, day three. Our Bible story today is coming from Luke chapter 11, verses one through four. He was praying in a certain place. And after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. As John taught his disciples, he said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, for we forgive everyone who indebted to us, and do not bring us to the time of trial. So when we pray, it's a way for us to build a friendship and a relationship with God, 
and we can thank him. We can ask him for things and for blessings. Um, it's just really a way to build our relationship and to show God our thankfulness is for praying to him. Um, we know that prayer is something that's usually spoken when you, you know, bow your heads and you pray out loud. Um, but there's other ways you can pray too. You can pray by showing acts of kindness and showing your acts of thankfulness to the Lord and by being disciplined in your read by reading your Bible and by worshiping Lord and by helping those around you and just doing the things that we know that he would like for us to do. Um, in your challenge today, I'm going to ask that you guys build again. We're going to build with either Legos or blocks or anything you have around your house, whatever kind of material you have um, to build. And we're going to build a place that, place that you can pray just like um, Jesus went away to pray before the disciples asked for his help. Um, can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Hope you're all doing well. Bye. Hi guys, welcome to day three of Arts and Crafts. Today we will be making prayer sticks. So for this, the materials you will need are some popsicle sticks, whatever you have at home works, doesn't have to be a specific size, um, some markers for decorating, and also a jar or container to put your sticks in. So first thing that you will want to do is decorate your jar. You can use the markers, you can use paint, permanent markers, whatever you have. Um, just decorate the jar in a way that you like so you can prepare to put the sticks in it. So next we will be working on the prayer sticks. So um, start thinking of people, places, other categories that you and your family would like to pray for and just write them down on a popsicle stick. So you can take a marker and take the stick and write down, I pray for my grandma um, I pray for someone who's hungry, someone who's lonely, pray for the world. You can write whatever you want on the sticks. And then once you're done, you just put the sticks in the jar that you decorated and you're all done. Hi everyone, it's me, Fig, my pal, Roger. Welcome to day three. Um, today we're talking about the power of prayer in our science experiment today. Um, and Hubble's gonna show us how to do that. So for this experiment, you're gonna need vinegar, around half a cup to a cup of vinegar, it doesn't really matter. Um, salt, two teaspoons, uh, some tongs or something to pick things up with. You know, get creative, maybe some chopsticks. Um, a cup or a small bowl, and then a couple pennies. I recommend around four. Okay, uh, so we're gonna toss it over to Hubble. Hi everyone, it's Hubble here, and I'm gonna show you how to do today's experiment. So we're gonna start with about half a cup to a cup of vinegar. Then we're gonna add two teaspoons of salt. It's about one. Two. Then we're gonna stir it together until it's all combined. So once the salt and the vinegar are combined together, we're gonna find a dull penny. See, this one's very brown. And we're gonna add it to the solution and let it sit for one to two minutes. As you can see, our dirty penny is becoming clean. So today's experiment was really about the power of prayer. Prayer to me means just essentially having that time with God to help figure out your problems that are going on throughout the day, you know? It is a time that you can really talk things through and problem solve about how to be more effective in your life, you know, and it's it can be very healing that time um, with God. So I definitely recommend to everyone to try a little prayer tonight, you know, maybe have that 20 minutes with God just to talk and basically kind of go through your day and what's going on. Um, and our experiment kind of shows how that goes down, right? We have our dirty coins here. This is someone, this represents someone that does not really pray, you know, and doesn't have prayer in their life. And then once they introduce that, the salt and vinegar solution, once they kind of start praying and start doing that evaluation, it helps them to become like this shiny coin. 
right? Prayer helps to kind of figure out all those problems that keep us dull and not as shiny and help to understand things. So, okay, hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye, bye. Hey guys, welcome to your third day of VBS. We hope you had a great first and second day. Today's game is Flat Jesus Challenge. Go for a walk. Remember our catchphrase of the day, awesome are our feet, they pray with Jesus. Now, how do we pray with our feet? Let's give it a try today. Go on a prayer walk as you are able. Take your flat Jesus. Take a picture with flat Jesus near one of the places where you pray. Here are some of our prayer suggestions. When you get to a bus stop, say a prayer for your school and your school friends. When you come to a place where you play, people play, say a prayer for friends. As you pass a, your house, pray for your neighbor you don't know. Pray for a neighbor you do know. Pray for an older neighbor and pray for a neighbor who is sad or lonely. Notice people's yards, pray for creation. Do you see pets? What about wildlife like birds, squirrels, and deer? In my neighborhood, we have bears. Pray for the animals of our world. Is there a place where people eat in your neighborhood? Maybe a neighbor has a vegetable garden. Pray for people who are hungry. Remember that not everyone has a home. Pray for those who are homeless and in need of shelter. When you get back to your home, pray for your family. Salama Dawulu. Greetings to you all at First Presbyterian Church of Ocala. We are Dan and Elizabeth Turk, mission co-workers of the Presbyterian Church serving in Madagascar. Except that right now we're in Orlando because of COVID-19. Madagascar got made famous by the movie it's actually a great big island, a real place, off the southeastern coast of Africa. It's about the size of Texas, and it's best known as the land of lemurs. But it also has lots of other interesting animals like chameleons and tenrecs, and many interesting kinds of trees like baobabs. We work in partnership with the FJ Kim Church in Madagascar, and we share God's love in a number of different ways. In my work, I help people to grow mangoes, to help gain income and to get good nutrition. And my work is in the health field. And so we help teach people about how to stay healthy. And one of the things we're teaching them now is about how to wear masks, which I know you guys are learning too, and how to wash your hands to stay clean. And this is another way of helping to share God's love by helping people know how to take care of themselves. We are so happy that you're learning about where missionaries are all over the world. And you can go to the website that the Presbyterian Church has and learn more about us and where we live and the Malagasy people. And we would ask that you could remember them in your prayers, that the boys and girls will have enough food to eat, that they'll be able to stay healthy, and that the church will be able to do its work of sharing God's love. Thank you so very much. Have Mi a good week. Mi sotra beta katumko. Welcome back to Make Your Mark. Take a look at your Make Your Mark bingo sheet. What activity will you participate in today? Did you know that there are ways you can color pictures to brighten someone's day? Coloring can be a very relaxing activity. Check out colorasmile.org. You can download pictures to color. Once you've colored them, you send them back to Color a Smile and they deliver them to hospitals, nursing homes, and even troops overseas. This is just one activity you might choose to do. See you next time. Hey guys, how's it going today? Don't forget, don't forget to connect with who? Your travel buddy today, that's right. And today share four things with them. The first is share what you learned about rest and prayer. Ask your travel buddy why they think Jesus needed to rest. Who and what do they think Jesus might be praying for? Number two, tell them about your flat Jesus challenge today. Challenge your travel buddy to do a prayer walk around the neighborhood. Number three, show them your super cool salt crystal. Can you remember how the crystal reminds you, remind you of your friendship with God? Number four, what did your family do to rest and relax today? If you watched a movie, tell your travel buddy about the movie. See if they have any movies they would suggest you watch. Ask them what they like to do 
to rest. See if they have a special place in their house or apartment where they like to get away when they want to pray and build their relationship with God. That's it for today. Take a deep breath. Did you find some time to rest today? Did you take pictures today? If you did, please have your parents send them to officefpc at fpcocala.org so we can see all of the great things you created and did today. Do you remember today's theme phrase? Awesome are your feet. They pray with Jesus. Now, I'm really going to quiz you. Do you remember yesterday's? Awesome are your feet. They trust Jesus. Now, let's see who really can remember. What about Monday's phrase? Awesome are your feet. They follow Jesus. Great job. Thanks for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. As always, before we go, let's say this week's closing prayer together. Please fold your hands and follow along the words on the screen. We thank you, Jesus, for this day. As we followed you along the way, we will travel day and night to follow you and share your light. Help us journey far and near to share God's love with all who hear. Amen. See you tomorrow.